Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to Beaker's Lab, where today we're going to be doing some Town Hall 8 three-star strategy. Guys, this is really important. I... I can't stress this enough because Town Hall 8 is the time where you become an epic clasher. If you're going to be good at clash, this is where you learn some of the basic skills. Three stars, man. You gotta be a three star player. War is so important and this is where it all begins. So guys, move away from your go wipe. Don't be that guy. Don't just spam mass dragons. Don't be that guy. Go towards the hog raids, the holo raids. Uh, even some air strategies like drag loon. Uh, we'll talk about those more later, but hogs if I have to choose one It's hogs guys. That is the way to do it at town all eight You get your hogs maxed to level four you lure the clan castle like this guy Throw a couple barbs a couple of wizards to kill whatever's in the clan castle and then you spread your hogs drop three heals and boom That was kind of a long bunch of directions, but seriously guys. This is easy All you got to remember is kill the clan castle and then spread your hogs. Those are the important steps. So here we go. Spreading the hogs. You'll notice Dracula put some on the corners first. And if you look closely, you'll see there were bombs there. There, there were those openings there that had to be either bombs or Teslas. So he's going to check there. And that goes into the overall strategy. You always want to spread your hogs into three groups. Three groups at least, if not more. So that was three groups starting on the corners, one in the middle. And now he's dropping some over on the left corner as well. Anytime you spread them out like this, you're going to avoid bombs. Not avoid them, but you're going to avoid your whole army hitting a bomb. You get what I mean? The more you split them up, the better you are. Any of you guys who are familiar with hogs know this. You spread out your hogs, you know, do a multi-touch deployment, like do this on your screen. That's four. That's four groups. And you'll make it. You will almost always make the three star. Just spread those heels out. Make sure they cover some sketchy areas that might have bombs in them. Openings, you know, any openings in the base might have a bomb or might have a Tesla. And you can learn a lot about bomb locations by watching somebody attack the base before you. Or if you just know the base. You know how Town Hall 8, it might be the worst Town Hall out there for people copying bases. For some reason, I don't know, nobody seems to try to make their own base. I, I, every base I see, it's one I've seen before. You know what I mean? So if you learn, uh, you get familiar with those bases, you might know where the traps are before you even start. And anyway, you know, even if you don't, just be careful. Spread your troops. You'll be fine. That's it, guys. Number one, I'm always going to start it with hogs. It's a great place to start. Great place for you guys to start. And these skills will carry into Town Hall 9. If you learn how to hog bases now, very similar to Town Hall 9. I mean, what's the difference? You have to kill an Archer Queen, actually. That's a big difference. <laughs> but similar still, you know? You just start out with some golems. We'll get to that some other day. But hey, here's some more Town Hall 8 hog action from the same dude. Dracula, what's up? So he's going to do the same thing. Lure the clan castle with one hog. That's usually going to cover it. One hog. And then poison it. Luckily, this time, there's no dragon. It's just an easy bunch of troops you can kill with poison. And then time to start the raid. So this time, this guy has his king like off to the side there. Okay, easy kill. You can drop your king to kill the enemy king, but it's not necessary. You don't have to do that. If you're killing the raid, the king's not going to matter. Anyway, three deployment zones here. Looks like the middle group got uh, trolled by a bomb. Possibly the worst bomb spot ever, or maybe not. I don't know. But uh, yeah. You know, you can see here, uh, this is going really well. Look at how much of the base these heal spells cover. It was almost the entire base. So how can you fail with hogs? I mean, it's one of the easiest ones. You just cover that base with those three heal spells, drop your hogs in a spread out pattern. I know I keep holding my hands up here. <laughs> that's because that's what you do, spread them out. And you got it. Make sure you clean up, that, that's the only other thing. Make sure you bring some archers. Barbs, minions, uh, goblins even, can help clean up really quickly. Usually, you, you know, you're not even going to need them. Your hogs are going to run around the base and clean up for you, but just in case. You bring a couple of archers. Dracula here brought, uh, what, 15 archers, dude? <laughs> that might be a little bit of overkill, but uh, hey, better safe than sorry. So, good job, buddy. As he closes in on the wind. That was a very quick raid. What was that, like two minutes? Something like that? Tons of hogs, 32 hogs in the camps, five more in the clan castle. Makes it look easy, right? 
So enjoy Town Hall 8 while you can, guys. You know, because beyond Town Hall 8, it gets more complicated. So enjoy the easy stars while you can. Don't be doing Go Wipe. Don't be doing raids like that. You're just selling yourself short. You can do better. You can do three stars every time if you just have a plan. Now here's a Mass Dragon raid and I'm not a big fan. Not a big fan at all for a lot of reasons. Dragons are really expensive and they're inconsistent. That is the biggest fault I have with them. But you can still get three stars with dragons if you use the three lightning spell tactic, which it's so boring, I don't like it, but you can lightning one air defense with some, some, some lightning spells, or you can be a little more crafty. You can use dragons and balloons or dragons and hogs. Uh, if you guys have never seen this, it's very simple. See how the dragons took out those first two air defense very easily on their own. There's a bunch of dragons left. Now, this group of hogs, these five measly hogs and one king, are going to step up and get the final air defense. Simple. You know, it's kind of a lower level base, but it's a good example of if you see a weakness like this, like one air defense, that top air defense was kind of off on its own. So when you see that, you know, maybe that this that maybe this is one of the best options. Hogs are always the best option, but hey, this worked, right? You know, so if you guys aren't ready for hogs yet, maybe you don't have them at level four. Uh, maybe you just really love dragons for some reason. I, I know some of you do. Uh, I'm not a big fan of dragons, and I think you guys should move away from them. It's not, maybe it's not quite as bad as Go Wipe, but you can do better. And you know what the main reason is why I don't think we should use dragons? Because at Town Hall 9, they're useless. All of a sudden, they're useless again. So you might as well move away from them now for, for the sake of learning new things that will work later on. You can't use dragons at Town Hall 9. I mean, they're never going to get you three stars. And you definitely can't use them at Town Hall 10 to get three stars. So, uh, just think about it that way, you know. But in a pinch, you know, Dragloon, Draghog will work. As you can see, I like that. Two Rage, one Heal. Not for the dragons. You don't need to heal your dragons. Just Rage for your dragons. I always do that. All right, guys. We got a pretty unique style of raid here called Holo. A lot of you guys have probably heard of it. It's just hogs and balloons. It's basically a hog raid, but you start out with some balloons to take out a couple key defenses. Now, you use this kind of raid when the base calls for it. This base is begging for it. This base really wants to be three-starred, and this is the perfect way to do it because the balloons can take out all these outer defenses and the hogs will rush to the core. So think about that. When you see a base at Town Hall 8, there's a lot of different armies you can use and they'll all probably work sometimes one is better than the other usually to for me it's like hogs or hogs or maybe hogs with a couple balloons but you know hogs are always going to be the best for me but you guys might like using holo if the base calls for it so anyway let's see what he does here going to continue to drop the balloons just a couple on each defense or one on each defense depending if it's a cannon or not you know and then that's it. <laughs> then he's going to rush the hogs into the middle. And how cool is that? If you guys have never seen this before, you're probably like, wow, that makes so much sense. It's very simple, very common strategy. And you can customize this. You know, you can use more hogs and less balloons. It's all about scouting the base and looking at, hmm, what can I do with eight balloons? What can I do with 10 balloons? Should I bring more hogs? Generally, you want more hogs. I mean, hogs are, are going to be the cleanup part of this raid. And here they go, going into the middle just to take out a couple of defenses. <laughs> like, look, there's only like, wow, there was like six defenses in there or something. A couple more, but not many. So there it is. All the defenses are gone. He's got one king left, which is not really a defense. The king doesn't really do much, man. I mean, the king can annoy you. <laughs> that's about it like the king can annoy you if you're having a terrible raid the king might ruin it but usually the king is nothing Let, let's see what he does here so a bunch of hogs come up and even though they're almost dead they take out the king no problem boom you guys can do this you can definitely do this so don't be that guy I'm not trying to be mean but don't be that guy that's going for two stars every war and you know, occasionally getting a three star. Just go for the three stars. You guys can get it almost every time. I'm telling you, you got this. Use the hogs, use the holo uh, dragons if you must, but make sure you have a plan. Dragons are too expensive, man. Try to not use those. But anyways, dudes, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoy this. Again, don't be that guy.
<laughs> I'm proud of you guys either way. Do your best. Uh, if you don't get it at first, just try again. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Videos have to end sometime, but I will be back tomorrow. I will see you guys then. Peace.